Welcome back this week. Uh, my name is uh, Doctor, and this. Uh, what's up, Doc? Uh, as, uh, as you may gather, I watched American Idol last night, and uh, that's what that's what they do. Uh, so I think uh, maybe I'll do that from now on. I gotta set this mic because we are we are live, and um, and um, hello, Virginia City. All right, uh, my hometown. Uh, I live in Virginia City, and. Uh, and I have a few people that tune in from there. And how wonderful. And thank you so much for tuning back in. And, uh, and uh, yeah, Gary. Gary yells, hi, how are you doing? Belinda. Belinda. Hi. Uh, he, she's my uh, biggest fan. I love your girl. And uh, uh, today we have, we have coming in, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, because he's not here yet, and that's uh, that's Haskell, all right, uh, Virginia City hat -haker. all right, this is a, this is a, a very, uh, it, well, it should be a very interesting show, but anyway, I hope he makes it, but anyway, we do have business to take care of, and that uh, certainly will be uh, uh, with um, um, number one is uh, the um, the Wydema Ranch, all right, you hear me talk about the Wydema Ranch all the time, it's very, very important to us. Uh, to me, I'm I'm, uh, I'm a horse lover myself. I've had six horses, seven horses over the uh, over the years, all at once, and uh, and, and it's an expense. All right? It's uh, six hundred dollars a month to take care of seven horses just in feed. That don't take care of anything else. All right. So I know uh, I know the uh, the problems that they do have at uh, Winema Ranch, and that is uh, constantly. Is uh, getting the food out there, and um, uh, and here's uh, here, here's here's a picture. Here's here's an idea of what goes on at the Winding Ranch. Isn't that a beautiful shot? That is all the wild horses, and, uh, and it looks like there's about 50, 60 head of horses there, and there could be a hundred, could be two hundred, right? And uh, we'll show the camera up above here, and uh, that is absolutely the coolest thing. I just love that shot, and. Uh, and, and and here's uh, another shot. This is out of the uh, uh, web page on uh, WinemaRanch.com. This comes right out of the web page. Some of these pictures, and um, and as you see, some uh, if you happen to get out to uh, uh, the uh, Winema Ranch out there in Border Town, um, uh, sometime uh, you might be lucky to see them filming. Uh, and that uh, right there, uh, they come out and they film once in a while. And um, there's Lacey J. Lacey J. Dalton, right? she's uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, family of the uh, Wynema Ranch. How cool is that? I just love that. And uh, so I want you to go ahead and uh, get involved. Get involved. If you'd like to volunteer, all right, get involved with the wild horses. That is the coolest thing uh, to go out there and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, make friends with all the uh, wild horses. How cool is that? All right? And they have tours there, too. Uh, you can saddle up, and uh, they'll take you around uh, on a horse. Uh, they'll give you, a, give you a personal tour. You can do that, too. Um, and um, so if you uh, uh, like to go out and make a tour or you want to uh, go ahead and volunteer, they, they always enjoy the help of coming down and, and helping out. There's always something to do. Believe me, there's always something to do. And, um, and uh, if you can't uh, make it out and you'd like to uh, uh, donate to it, yeah, that's that's just as thrilling as, as anything else, uh, you know, to keep uh, uh, to keep the uh, uh, the cost down for them. As uh, you know, if, if you if you want to contribute, that's fine too. Um, it um, it goes a long way. Every cent every cent goes to the uh, care and feeding of the wild mustang. All right, all right. So moving right along to who do we have here? Well, and of course, my friend, uh, my friend. Uh, Cameron Hawkins, all right, publisher of uh, Great Basin Highway. The Great Basin Highway. Did I get it right this time, Cameron? Every time, <laughs> every time I advertise his uh, his magazine, I forget the highway. I don't know why, but no, it's the Great Basin Highway. And here it is. That's the uh, picture uh, we have uh, for this quarter. And uh, that's taken in Winnemucca. Winnemucca, that's way out there, too. Uh, not to Winnemucca, uh, this piece of property is way out there. Um, I took that photo. How cool is that? Love it. And I'm on page 48. 
47 and 48 right there right there if you're interested to read a little bit about me yeah right there and also on 48 there's there's a picture of uh, my book my book uh, as a matter of fact here here we got it right here all right this is uh this is dr the living legend living his dream and boy do i I absolutely live in my dream every day, every day. It's just absolutely wonderful, especially for me living in Virginia City, just absolutely wonderful, wonderful town, and the people are absolutely wonderful, just as much as Reno. If you love your town, Reno, absolutely a beautiful place to live. I work here. Uh, I'm at the Old Town Mall in um, American Matter Studio, just absolutely wonderful facility. All right, And uh, so that's my book, Sandy Lene. Nevada's author. She wrote it, right? She wrote this. How cool is that? I just love that. And uh, and uh, and and what happened to my note? There they go, right here. And of course, if you have any questions, you wanna you wanna call in. You can do that uh, at eight four four seven nine zero eight two five five. Right? You call in, no problem. And uh, and our numbers are big. All right. Last week, uh, we had numbers of 17,602 uh, 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 people that we reached uh, with, uh, with, with Harold Miller and uh, uh, Cowboy Poet, all right? Uh, big numbers, big numbers. And if you'd like to be a sponsor on this show, what's up, Doc? Uh, Eddie Floyd, uh, we partner up. Uh, uh, he likes what I'm doing, and uh, he's, he's my partner. And he says, uh, Doc, do you have anybody interested in sponsoring your show? You have him call me direct on my cell phone. Uh, so he gave me his cell phone. So if you have any interest, let's go to 775 384 Four 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 four, and that's Eddie Floyd's personal number. Uh, so give him a call. Give him a call. We're uh, we're getting uh, we're getting uh, our numbers are just getting bigger and bigger every month. All right, time to go to break. I said enough. All right, come on back. This is what's up, Doc. My name is Doc Durden. Hopefully Pascal is here. All right, come on back. All right, back to the show. I heard it. All right, back to the show. Thanks for uh, uh, returning uh, to. Uh, uh, my name is Doc Durden, and this is what's up doc how about that <laughs> i like that and this is what's up doc i like that i think i'm going to use that from now on what do you think no yeah i think so all right well uh, here we have uh we have a dilemma uh we have a we have a no show what happened what happened um did anybody uh, call pascal at the shop uh, tell him that, uh, hey, dude, you're supposed to be on the radio. All right, so uh, he's not there, but guess what? Uh, we're going to have, uh, we're just going to have an easy day, it looks like, and uh, I have uh, uh, my, uh, one of my, uh, not only uh, cast member, not only production uh, 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 guy uh, with, uh, you know, uh, 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 Foothill Productions is uh, Paul Garrett, all right? We've interviewed him a couple of times. And we had fun with Paul. Uh, he's uh, he's on camera. Well, let's see now. We have cameras for American Matters Media. All right, we have one camera up here. And hello, howdy, howdy, howdy. And then we have a camera right behind me. And then uh, and then of course we have uh, live uh, Facebook where we have uh, the iPhones, uh, the smartphones that uh, that I'm talking to you on right here. And then um, also on uh, um, on on the other side. So what we're going to have? We're going to have Paul. Uh, join us, and you, we're just going to talk about the latest stuff that we're doing together. And uh, so, Paul, come on over, come on over and join us. How lucky! <laughs> How lucky you are! Uh, th thanks for joining in. And this is kind of like a spur of the moment, but we're not going to interview uh, Paul because we've already done that. But we're just going to talk about the latest things that we've done. Now, I'm going to turn him on here. Uh, uh, see. Um, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we got a blank screen. How about how about that back camera? You want me to turn that on behind you? Uh, yeah. Why don't you? Uh, well, let, let's uh, let's get to this one here moving, uh, uh, the way it uh, should be. Let's see here. Uh, here's uh, Facebook, and uh, and I don't need that. Um, let's see now, and um, uh, let's see here. Don't need that. Start live video. Go live. All right. Uh, and starting live. All right. Now, how about that? I'm on two posts, right? Okay. 
All right. Go ahead and line yourself up. All right. All right. Here we go. And uh, all set. All right. Take so let me uh, let me introduce you and thank you for uh, holding on until I get that set up. Uh, waiting for Pascal, uh, hat maker in Virginia City, and uh, he was scheduled for today. And we did talk yesterday. I went to the store yesterday, and um, and he. Uh, um, uh, in other words, I, I asked him if he was going to be here, and he was scheduled, and everything was set up, and, and I told him that uh, the, the new times, and uh, uh, it's 1 o'clock, but uh, you know what? Um, he's probably going to show up here at uh, 1.30, uh, <laughs> uh, because uh, he said, well, I'll get there half an hour early. I think he's going to use the old time. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Just having a little technical difficulty yeah. here. All right. Yeah, that. Uh, go, go, uh, Does it slide in? There you go. All right. And be careful not to hit the, uh, the volume button on those ears because then it shuts you off. All right. And uh, let me. Uh, yeah, one more time. One yeah. more time. All right. <laughs> I'm going to slide this down uh, because if it's up on the volume, then, um, then nobody gets heard. Yep. Okay. Now the volume's up. All right. All right. And uh, and try to get it, you know, fairly, yeah. fairly yeah. close. No problem. I yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he's, he's, having a, he's having a heck of time with that. That's camera. all right. We're working. Uh, he'll get it. We're working. He'll it. get it. A little twist there. A little adjustment there. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We're happening. Are you on? I'm on. You're on. All right. <laughs> All right. He's on. All right. And uh, what uh, uh, what me and Paul Garrett uh, also involved in is that uh, uh, movie maker forum. Uh, we have a, we have a group that uh, uh, that I've been involved with. Uh, well, um, it, well, at one time it was uh, Reno Movie Makers, and that was like five six years ago, and then uh, that kind of merged into. Um, uh, uh, what, what, uh, SDTV, SDTV, uh, Reno, and um, and and that's uh, uh, where we go out and uh, we interview uh, uh, seniors and uh, and 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 see what uh, how they're doing and, and some of the problems that they have and we put them on video. And um, but since the uh, COVID thing, uh, they they locked us out of City Hall. That was our office. Our office was on the twelfth floor. And, uh, and so with the COVID thing, we got locked out. Uh, so now what we do, we do Zoom, right? And um, so now that uh, in the last, uh, what, uh, I'm thinking the last, what, six, eight months, we've been doing Zoom. And, uh, and uh, uh, Paul Garrett has uh, graciously uh, 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 been um, uh, part of our, our, our team for the last uh, uh, three or four months anyway. Uh, that I know of, and uh, he's such an asset to what we're doing because he's been a um, an actor, a theater actor for the last forty years, right? And also a Marine Corps vet, uh, and uh, we, so we have a lot in common, and uh, and our personalities uh, have just uh, kind of meshed, and uh, uh, and, and uh, so now he's part of my production company, and he's such a he's such an asset for me. But we'll just go ahead and talk about some of the things that uh, we're doing uh, together, and that happens to be with the. Uh, uh, with the forum, and it's called the uh, Movie Makers Forum, and you can pick that up on YouTube or uh, Facebook, I believe, too. Yeah. And um, and uh, we've uh, we've done we've already done a couple of internal uh, uh, skits uh, for practice. You know, half the crew uh, does not have any experience about filming, uh, and uh, we're trying to get everybody up to speed. Uh, so we've done a couple of little vignettes, uh, you know, little little fun things and everything, and and uh, we got Paul involved in that, and uh, now we got, then I'm involved with that, and then uh, now we're now we've gotten to the point where we're a little bit more serious, and we're doing a skit uh, that uh, Carl Adams uh, he uh, happened to uh, write up a, a new skit, and is and and it's uh, very serious, and uh, and uh, it all has to do with. Uh, um, a detective uh, that's uh, on the uh, pursuit of uh, a uh, drug dealer. And uh, I'm going to let, uh, uh, now I've done a lot, all the talking, right? So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and pass it to uh, Paul so he can kind of finish up with some of the characters that we're going to be playing. Paul, let me know what's happening. All right. So uh, as you said, we're uh, going to do a short film with the Movie Makers Forum and Carl Adam. 
and uh, I will be playing a character, uh, actually two characters. Uh, one is just a, a homeless uh, individual. And then, oh, you're playing the homeless too? Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. That's just the real quick. That's Roger. Yeah. Uh, fading in and out yeah. type thing. And then, yeah. But my main character is Spider. Uh, I'll be pe playing a, uh, a veteran drug dealer who's uh, sampling his own wares, and I'm a bad, bad man. <laughs> Not any redeeming qualities whatsoever. Looking forward to this. I've always, uh, I like to play the villain. Yeah. Uh, aside from the, the leading man or woman, the next one that gets the best lines is the bad guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's right. So, That's true. So That's true. Uh, this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you get, to, you're in there and uh, you play in uh, the older uh, uh, cop. Yeah. Um, retired. Retired. Uh, you'd be a public, uh, um, right private eye. Yeah, and I'm a ride along. And a ride along. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, coming out of Oakland, California. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. it's going to be, uh, this really does have the potential uh, because of the type of uh, the theme, is this is an unarmed cop who doesn't carry a weapon. Uh, he uses cell phones, he uses modern day technology, uh, but, no, but no weapons. And uh, he's here in Reno. And uh, things happen. So I, I see this as a, a possibility of, of an actual re reoccurring... Uh, yes, yeah, a sitcom type thing. Yeah. Yeah, or, or a, weekly, uh, a weekly deal. Right. Uh, and also, uh, they, they talked about uh, Netflix. Uh, yes. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the uh, <clears throat> Movie Makers Forum, we've been in contact with Netflix, uh, and... Uh, 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 some uh, of the uh, people in the uh, forum have, have gone on a little farther than others of us have because it is new to us. But uh, Carl is going to enter this uh, film in uh, with the Netflix search. You have several uh, films or screenplays that you've entered into yes. the Netflix search, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm a new movie maker, and I'm going to be. Uh, a, Doing a, a film myself. Uh, now, uh, yeah, tell me, uh, tell me more about that film. Uh, it's uh, uh, now I, I, is is that the one with Bass Reeves, or is there no no uh, this this different? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the the film I want to do is uh, oh yeah 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 the yeah, yeah, yeah. Title of Crimson Silver right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's just in pre production. I don't want to give a whole lot away about it, but it's a modern day. Uh, uh, Twist. It's got romance, revenge, redemption, all that good stuff. Yeah. All, the, all the five W's that you want, yeah. and uh, it. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be something that uh, we enter into the film festivals. Also, um, don't really care about going to Hollywood, but I sure would like my films to be seen by somebody. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's where we're at right now. You know, nobody's making a lot of money off of this. Nobody's making any money off of this. It's just for the love of the uh, film production, movies, and uh, you know, offering people a, an opportunity to escape for just a little while. All right, I'm going to stop you right there. We're going to break, and uh, come on back. This is getting interesting. All right, uh, we got Paul Garrett. Uh, he's filling in for uh, Pascal, and uh, maybe uh, maybe he got his uh, time confused. Maybe he'll be back. All right, we're out. All right, we're back, and my name is Doc Durden, and uh, we have Paul Garrett, and this is What's Up, Doc? This is What's Up, Doc? I like that. <laughs> I may have to use that from well, now on. You know who, who originated that? No. Right? Bugs Bunny. Oh, oh, the name. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I was uh, referring to the, uh, thinking about the style. The, you yeah. Know, what's, uh, that's American, that's American Idol. I know. With, uh, yeah, he goes, and uh, this is American Idol. I love that. Anyway, uh, that's going to be uh, me. This is What's Up, Doc. What do you think? You like it? I like it. Uh, so uh, we, were, uh, we were chatting about um, uh, the, uh, um, the movie. What were we talking about? Yeah, what did we yeah. stop? Uh, see, we stopped, uh, I think it just explained a little bit about my Your character. production. Yeah. 
But you and oh, I oh, are oh yes, your production. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And that this here is kind of cool. It, had, it definitely has the twists and turns on this thing. Uh, totally unexpected. I can't, I can't say anymore. But, uh, but you know, you'll, you'll know more this summer. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I really am. But I'm also looking forward to uh, uh, the the movie that uh, where I play Bass Reeves. Oh, Bunny Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bunny Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my character Bass Reeves is. Uh, the first uh, black uh, lawman, uh, um, marshal, U.S. marshal, deputy marshal, west of the Mississippi. Uh, over 3,000 arrests in a... Uh, 3,000 arrests? Over 3,000. Isn't that something? And it really is, when you think about it. And then uh, they know that he was in, uh, they believe, about 20 gunfights where he won. But then there's the, there's the ones that aren't accounted for. And those are the guys that were trying to ambush him and things like that, mm -hmm. where he had a gunfight and firefights. And uh, he didn't go back if he had to fight through a pass or and you shoot his way through a box canyon or something like that, in and out. He didn't go back and, and count the casualties. Right, yeah. You know, so we know that uh, he actually was involved in, uh, I would estimate, and some of the historians estimate maybe up to 30 separate gunfights that, that he won. Wow. Uh, and and uh, so so he had to have been an expert as, as, he was. with a gun. He was. Actually, what happened, he was, he was born a slave, and uh, uh, his, uh, his first master uh, gave him to his son. So the master gave Bass to his son, who they speculate was probably his, his half-brother also. Mm -hmm. Uh, have, uh, Bass was a slave in those days. Uh, a lot of slaves were mixed race, uh, and uh, it looks like you know Bass Reeves' father was the was his original owner. Gave him to his son, uh, who was uh, ended up being a senator or something like that. And uh, I don't have my notes with me. I wasn't ready to come on. Yeah, yeah that's true. But, but he uh, he was in uh, Texas Congress and ended up uh, retiring there. But during the Civil War. Uh, he, uh, Bass's owner, fought for the South. And uh, Bass uh, was never allowed to read or write, but he was the plantation armorer. Uh, he did know how to shoot, and uh, he was an ex excellent shot. He uh, uh, entered many, many uh, uh, competitions, shooting competitions, and won them all. He won so many that they uh, they banned him from shooting. Oh, really? Yeah. They actually banned and, him from shooting. And when the Civil War started, uh, he was forced uh, to fight for the South. And uh, uh, he was went along with his master, who was an officer in the Confederate Army. And uh, he knew Bass's prowess with the rifle. And there are stories, and I believe them, that, you know, Bass had to shoot uh, uh, Union soldiers. Um, was he like a sniper? Uh -oh. He was a sniper. A sniper. He was a sniper. Yeah. And uh, it is believed that he actually got uh, a colonel, a major, maybe even a general in one day at, at one, wow. yeah. uh, one uh, engagement um, that the, uh, the Confederates won, basically. And um, Bass's owner was decorated for it. Mm. But Bass is the one that actually Naturally. did the shooting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, as time progressed in the Civil War, uh, you could say that Bass was saying, "Why, why am I shooting at guys that look just like me?" You know. Right. Part of it was was survival. I mean, they were shooting at him too, and you know, either you end up getting shot and killed, or you fight back. Uh, eventually, Bass was able to escape. Uh, and made his way into Indian country uh, during the Civil War. Uh, he was picked up um, and embraced by the Indians. Uh, he was taught uh, further skills on tracking uh, language. He could speak uh, maybe four different dialects. No kidding. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, he, could, he could track with the best of them, mm -hmm. absolutely with the best of them. And uh, that uh, eventually, when the Civil War ended and, uh, and the blacks were, were freed, then any bounty he had on him was lifted. 
And so uh, eventually what happened is uh, he was in the uh, Oklahoma, Arizona territories and the uh, new governor, I mean, it was wild. I mean, that was the Wild West. Mm -hmm. uh, people would go into Indian territories, Oklahoma territory. To the, they'd commit a, a robbery and killing or whatever, and then they'd escape to the uh, territories, and mm -hmm. there was no law. That's right. That's it. And yeah. uh, so a new uh, uh, president uh, got a hold of a friend of his that was a judge uh, who, who decided that they needed to tame the West, and uh, Bass was uh, employed because of his tracking skills, his prowess with uh, shooting, his tracking, uh, his ability to basically blend in and disguise himself. Mm -hmm. uh, he was made a, uh, a U.S. Deputy Marshal, and uh, he was given writs. Uh, and a writ would be the same thing as a, uh, uh, a warrant. And uh, he was going out and he was uh, arresting bad guys, uh, bad girls, didn't matter. Uh, and uh, he eventually, he, he was known throughout the West as, as the number one bounty hunter. Not a bounty hunter, but as a marshal that was able to bring in. Uh, his, his man. His man. His man. It didn't matter. And, and he had, he had many, many different looks. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. He was uh, he was an actor. He uh, uh, there's one story where he had to uh, uh, he walked 20 miles, uh, left his horse, disguised himself as a as a tramp. Basically, in those days, they didn't have homeless. You know, they had tramps and uh, ho boys, and he disguised himself as uh, something like that. Walked 20 miles so that he actually had the dirt on him. He had the look. He was tired. He's going after one guy. He knows the guy's holed up with mom in their house. He walks in, and uh, he basically says, you know, he's escaped. He's a, he's a fellow criminal type thing, and uh, they fall for it. Uh, they basically, they go to sleep. They wake up, and they're in cuffs and chains. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he walks him back to his horse, and uh, he, uh, he, he drove a horse. He drove a wagon with the... Uh, the steel bars and the whole nine yards. He had another uh, a helper uh, who uh, uh, accompanied him uh, all over, who was uh, a Native American, and uh, this this helper helped him with his disguises and mm. backed him up. Didn't know, didn't know he had a, a, a helper or companion or. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, and, yeah. and 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 Bass actually, he was able to live thirty years, something like that. And uh, Muskogee, Oklahoma, uh, decided that uh, they were going to have their first police force, actual constables. And he became one of the first constables in Muskogee. He still, he, he didn't carry a weapon on his person. He had an accomplice, a, a helper, who carried his weapons in a box. And uh -huh. whenever he got in a predicament, he would tell the young man or kid, whatever he was, uh, you know, hand me my forty-five. Hand me this. Hand me that. And he would select his weapons to to continue to to fight bad guys. And uh, he did that. He became a constable. Um, and one of the reasons he became a constable was that after Oklahoma uh, became a state, then his his job as a, uh, a territorial marshal was basically gone. Yeah. And I, what comes a question that comes to mind is that. Uh, uh, how did how did the town folks relate to him as being uh, the law enforcement at that time? I, you know, everything that I've been able to uh, glean uh, is, is there was no problem. No problem. There was no problem. Yeah. Um, you know, and if there was, there's not a lot of mention. I mean, this is Oklahoma in the 18, 19, uh, 1900s. I, I, uh, and, uh, you know, yeah. the, there, I'm sure there were issues, but yeah. I haven't picked up anything at this time that really tells anything about specific racist problems. Sure. Or, or well, especially like if your if your rep if your reputation precedes you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, not much to be said. Right. Yeah. Not and, much to and, be said. And they, his reputation uh, 
definitely preceded him. Yeah. People, I mean, they were afraid of him. They knew who he was. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, that he walked softly, yeah. carried a big stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he, uh, he liked to uh, make quotes. He had a lot of quotes. Oh, and yeah. Bible, biblical references mm -hmm. and things like this. And I, I, I don't have those sitting on the top of my yeah, tongue. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, they're, well, they're uh, let's, let's just stop you right there. And uh, yeah, this is fascinating. <laughs> and uh, we're going to break. All right, so come on back. We got Paul Garrett here filling in for Pascal. Where are you, Pascal? All right. Come on back. All right. We are back. And uh, my name is uh, Doc Durden, and we have Paul Garrett in the house. And this is What's Up, Doc? <laughs> this is What's Up, Doc? Anyway, I'll get it down. I'll get it down. All right. So uh, <laughs> anyway, in front of the mirror in the bathroom. Yeah, we got. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, that's what. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in front of the mirror in the bathroom and get that down. Yeah. And and you know, hold the this, brush in your hand. What's up, Doc? All right. <laughs> and uh, so we we are um, we are winding down on uh, Bass Rees. He was uh, uh, so yeah yeah. So go right ahead. Where were you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I. I I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, playing him and, and yes, uh, yeah, and that'll be uh, that'll be the Bonnie Hunter, and that's gonna be called the Bonnie Hunter, yeah. and I'll be uh, one, uh, and uh, I'll be playing. Uh, um, uh, well, pretty much, I have a I have an advertisement out there too. Uh, uh, a Bonnie Hunter coming in uh, 2021. I don't know if you all seen it or not, but that that, that was kind of cool. It's uh, um, the um, the the I, I love I love the holster. And, and and all the bling that goes along with me drawing that gun out of uh, of that side shot is just all it is is just uh, conchos and and and, uh, and bling and and the gun and it was it's kind of a cool shot uh, but uh, yeah that's uh, uh, you know the bunny hunter coming and I'll I'll be one of the bunny hunters and I think I think I'm gonna have a a, a partner too that uh, that uh, a little twist uh, a little twist of the deal and and um, and I might. I may bring a, a woman in. You know, I, I try to I try to bring the ladies in to do some horrible stuff, <laughs> like uh, like on uh, Leland, uh, where my wife uh, she actually uh, um, uh, she actually killed my partner. Uh, she beat him up with her hands, and uh, she she didn't like him, uh, so she waited for him at at the bar because every night he'd be drinking. And uh, and uh, that reminds me, uh, Cameron and uh, and Mad Dog have to redo that scene because I, I screwed up on that, so they're gonna have to redo that. But anyway, uh, he comes out of the uh, uh, out of the uh, saloon. You know, he's always drinking, he's drunk, and uh, and she's waiting for him. And uh, she was supposed to uh, shoot him, and of course the gun misfired, and uh, he lunges at her, and she lunges back, and she gets the better of it, and so she's on top of him. And let me tell you, she's just. She's just smoking them. I mean, she's just left and a right and a left and a right and a left. I, oh, my God. And uh, uh, finally, uh, he, he's not breathing anymore. It was just the one. It was just a, it was a cool scene. And, uh, and that's part of uh, Leland. And that's not, so that's my twist on my on my ladies. And, uh, and, and the same thing with Jesse James, the lady. All right? We have uh, uh, Soraya. She played uh, uh, Jesse James. What a fine job. Uh, she did with that. Uh, it's just an incredible job, and uh, she goes in and, and, and robs the bank and the whole thing, and and that was kind of cool. And the opening scene was uh, kind of cool. But we got trophy for that. We got best. We got a Westie Award. Uh, we got the Westie Award, and we got uh, and that's a coveted award, and that's for that picture. And right? uh, we got best picture. We got best script, uh, and then we got best director, uh, me, me, yeah. and we got best producer, me. Right. So how how cool is that? I just that loved the whole thing, and uh, obviously, and uh, and that was uh, and that was all women cast, all women cast. So it was kind of kind of cool. And uh, we had Kim Harris play the sheriff. What a stellar job she did too. Uh, so it's something to it's something that you all need to see. All right. Uh, so uh, where are we at? We uh, we talked about Bass Reed. We talked about the Bonnie Hunter, uh, and we talked about uh, Jesse James and. Uh, Gunfight. Uh, another thing that uh, uh, what I should be talking about. I just joined uh, what they call Stage Thirty Two. Uh, anybody out there in the movie making business 
that hasn't uh, joined or become a member of uh, Stage 32, you may want to consider that. Just bring that up, uh, stage32.com. And, um, and there's, a whole, there's a whole wealth of information there. And I'm, I'm new uh, to that uh, membership. I, uh, I joined last week, but I already have five videos up on there, and, um, which is um, uh, Gunfight the OK Corral. Um, and that's with uh, Mike Bell and uh, Dennis Dew. And um, Mike uh, Dugan, right? Uh, so we have Virgil, Wyatt, and uh, Morgan. And uh, so, that, so, that, uh, so these guys are, you know, top shelf, as, as you may know. And uh, so that's, uh, it's on stage uh, 32 now, uh, all those uploads. And uh, so we may want to uh, check that out. Uh, if you're in the movie-making business, there's a, lot, there's a lot of information. They got over 500,000 members. And, uh, and, uh, and I've, I've found that uh, uh, most of them are, are directors, right? I, I don't know what that means. It's all relative, right? Uh, so everybody's a director. Everybody's a producer. Uh, but there are some bona fide uh, big, we big wheels that are uh, actually connected with the uh, Stage 32. So um, that's my pitch for Stage 32. Uh, and, uh, and I know uh, Paul, uh, he's, uh, he's also a member, and they've already co contacted him. They, they like Paul. He says uh, uh, they're going to keep an eye on him in Virginia City. How cool is that? Now, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you talk about that. Now, what, what, what was the? Uh, in other words, you you became a member, and then all of a sudden. Uh, well, it, and it was it, it was it was so um, when we they had a live um, free seminar, mm -hmm. and uh, when I joined on the live free seminar, uh, they were actually. The developers, the producers, the directors were live themselves. And uh, so I just, I knew they were live. I was live and there was a talk box and I just entered a little little blurb about my upcoming thing. And uh, one of them saw it and responded back that uh, it was interesting. And I gave him a little pitch, just a tiny pitch not knowing how to give a pitch it yet. Yes, yes. You know, I, I know how to give a pitch, but modern day is a little different. Mm -hmm. The last pitch I gave was 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so it's changed a little bit, and uh, I just gave them a little one, and it caught their attention, and uh, that's that's where we're at. It caught their attention. Now, now it's up to me and, and uh, you and, and uh, our group, yeah. however we're going to do it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm the CEO and president of uh, Blue Welshman Film Productions. So, uh, as uh, the CEO and president, I'll I'll be uh, making this production. Exactly, this exactly. Film. And that and that's the cool thing. It really is. Uh, and that's anybody out there that uh, that has a camera. Uh, you know, you know, you don't. Uh, you, you learn by your mistakes, and uh, and that's the best way to learn. All right. Uh, uh, and and uh, you, you don't have to have a huge investment. Um, I got, and, and of course that's relative too. I have a huge investment, all right. But then again, compared to Hollywood, I have nothing. All right, so there, so everything's relative, right? Uh, but we have uh, uh, what? I, last time I I got twenty one cameras, okay, and and I have enough to do. I definitely have enough to do the job at any in many different locations at the same time. Whatever, uh, but um, and of course the most amount of cameras I ever used was ten, and that's when I was filming uh, Evil Twin: The Reckoning, and um, and that was up in Virginia City f uh, five six years ago. And we got best trailer. We got best trailer out of that film in Virginia City, and, uh, and that's kind of cool. And um, and then we had uh, what we had we had twenty two. Uh, uh, cast members uh, to do that, and that's my first film that I did. I've been in 17 films uh, of um, various kinds. Uh, uh, probably the, the the most uh, the one that comes to mind immediately is uh, uh, well, yeah, okay, um, uh, Deadwood. Uh, I was in Deadwood, uh, but you know the one I was most proud of is uh, uh, the Life and Times of um, of uh, um, yeah. How come I'm forgetting that? Um, um, what's that place in uh, over in Oakland? Uh, Harvey. Uh, no, it's on the water. Anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Square. Jack London. Jack London. Yeah, you know it, it, that. That's just you know you don't want to get old. Yeah, you remember he goes, you know, and, it, <laughs> and, and it's tough. It's tough. You got to have a young person like Paul to, uh, yeah, yeah, help, you out. You help you out. Help you out. You know, it's just uh, you know you go by and, and you, you don't know where you live anymore, and, and uh, you know who am I? And you kind of walk in circles and uh, and you, you hope that somebody recognizes you and leads you home. 
home. Uh, you know, so that's, that's a constant deal every day. Uh, so that's the reason why I don't like leaving the house, because I can't find it. I can't find it again. But yeah, Jack London, it was, uh, uh, it was, um, it was actually a very good production, and uh, um, it, it was filmed in uh, Twain Hart, uh, California. And um, I was cast as a uh, preacher. And um, and and uh, and what was happening is that the scene was is uh, Jack London was dying of scurvy, and, uh, and it was my job to go ahead and get him out of that deathbed and get up and start writing uh, because there's miners out there their stories need to be told, uh, so I had like what three or four lines to be able to uh, deliver and, and uh, so they uh, it took about five takes to do that. Uh, and it was uh, 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 but they finally got what they needed. And as they're uh, as they're scanning and they're looking back of, of what they just got done filming, uh, next I'm putting on my coat. I'm done with the scene. I'm putting on my coat, and all of a sudden I hear this applause. And this applause is the standing ovation I got for the scene I did uh, from the cast and crew. How cool is that? That's cool. I, 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 you know, uh, that, that's just a wonderful thing. I, I, I remember that clearly. Uh, of course, that's the only time it's happened, but the fact is, it did happen. And, uh, and, I, and I felt real good about that because it was. It was a good scene, and I, I enjoyed it. All right, then, uh, and then I've done, uh, what, 16 other ones, and, and, uh, and I, I, I loved each one of them. Each one was different, uh, but um, uh, a lot of them were, of course, uh, dealing with the, with the Wild West, and, uh, um, and uh, we're, we're getting close here. Huh? Oh, my God, we're getting close. And this time you know, we talked about, we're talking about stuff, and we're, all, we're already done. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's... Uh, we got stuff coming up. We have Autumn coming up, uh, little twelve-year-old, uh, and uh, uh, she'll be the uh, you know kind of the star of the show. And then we'll have uh, a Lady in the Tramp also on that production with uh, other people. But we got to go. Uh, my my engineer is uh, you know she's like she's doing this like she wants to cut my throat. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave because she's gonna do that. All right. Thanks for tuning in and uh, adios. Bye. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut you off here live.